Hi hey guys, in the following video I'm going to show you how to use the developer tools with Safari to allow you to inspect the images on your site so that you can decide on the correct dimensions for your images so that whenever you go to upload those to your website you have the maximum optimized images for your website. Just remember to check out the tutorial on how to optimize your images when saving them so that whenever you do also upload those that they're the right size in terms of kilobytes, megabytes, etc. So the first thing I want to do um, is go to Safari and go to Preferences because as default you don't have any uh, developer menu um, or options to inspect anything. So first I want to go to Show Develop in the menu bar and with that added you have the developer options enabled. Uh, you can then use Show Web Inspector and that will allow you to uh, inspect the different elements on the site. So you can go ahead and click the little crosshair here and it will show you the different images and their sizes. So you can see um, the sizing options just below here, uh, 440 by 600. And remember, whenever you are thinking about retina devices, you will want to add images that are double the size of the container. So in this case, I know it's a slideshow, so it's left to right. Just think about the height. It looks like it's gonna be uh, 600 in height, so you'll wanna upload an image of 1200 pixels. And why do you do that? Because of retina screens which have double the pixel density of the regular device. So to get a super crisp image, you're going to want to upload something that is double the size. Now, as I mentioned, uh, uh, sliders that go left to right, just think about the constraints by height. That's going to be the most important factor. But in other elements of your site, you'll want to be thinking about uh, the width, for example, and also uh, for other elements, you will actually want to and look at the exact container size. So for example, uh, with these, this block here, uh, when you're uploading images, if you wanted this exact style, you should upload images at exactly double the size that you can see here. So if you wanted to get that exact look, of course, if you're gonna upload your images at uh, different sizes and ratios, uh, feel free to just make sure and double that size and upload those to your site. Again, for blog posts, for example, you can go and uh, look at the width. Uh, width is important here because the, that is the constraint on the image. Um, if you were to upload a portrait image, uh, it should be also, you should also be thinking about width because height is irrelevant. It will go up and down, it will fit the space. So always look at the width. So in this case, I look at this image and I see it's um, 809 pixels wide, so I know that I want to add an image of around 1600 pixels width and you can just set your height to auto whenever you're uh, exporting your images for your blog content. Now one other little handy tool if um, you don't want to have to go to this every time um, to open up your site or right click for example to an inspect, you can go to uh, develop and you can then edit the menu uh, for that. So you can go to no, uh, view type, sorry, it's actually view type, customize toolbar. And then you'll see there's a little web inspector icon. Just go ahead and drag that up to the top corner, hit done. And then you can actually just click that. It will pop up this menu item. And again, same principle, click, check the image, make the note, and then make sure to export your images so that they're correctly optimized for your site. Now just to note, with a web a responsive design, um, if you're using a smaller screen, the sizes may not be exactly as you want, so um, do try and check on a larger device if, po if possible. And um, if you are a little bit concerned, um, upload them just, just uh, maybe a couple hundred pixels wider or taller. I, I believe for slideshows they will be fixed on all devices, so that's fine. But for uh, the instance where it is going to be fixed by a percentage, for example, the blog posts or other elements on your site, you probably want to add a little bit of buffer there just to make sure that it's going to be nice and crisp on the larger devices. So hopefully that allows you guys to inspect and the images on your site and optimize your images so that you can upload those correctly on your website. If you have any questions, just drop us a message. Thanks guys.